So what are we doing today, Mr. Steve? Well, we're going to try to make some bumpers for this thing. With the proven Harbor Freight tubing gun. <laughs> Back to the handy dandy Harbor Freight pipe bender. Yes, in order to stop from kinking the tube, we're going to put the tube in on top of this piece of aluminum, and we're going to try to force it down in here to take up the slack in the die. Yes, right? because the die is not exactly the same. It's not exactly the same size as a pipe. As it's pipe. a pipe bender, and it still won't bend pipe. And then on the on the rollers out here, they press dents into the pipe. So we're going to make some shims to go on the pipe, which will go under the rollers and try to prevent it from denting it. We'll see. Worst thing that can happen is we put it back in that box and take it back to Harbor Freight. <laughs> We're gonna go eight inches and then we're gonna make marks we're going to try one inch increments. Saw this on YouTube, so we'll see. Well, if it's on YouTube, it must be true. It must be true. I don't think it's going to be a perfect bend, but you know, it is what it is. Just so. like we're not window tinners, we're also not no, fabricators. Fabricators, yeah. We're a fabricator one of these. Yeah. And you know what? It's our ATV, and if it turns out like crap, we just won't put it on there. Yeah. They make options you can buy for these bumpers. They're only like $1,000. <laughs> This is a much cheaper remedy, but far more labor intensive than just clicking a button and saying, take all my money. Yeah, this is much more fun, I get A little too thick, I don't know. We'll see. Worst thing that happened is nothing. Now I realize that this is a lot of trouble. You gotta start and make all this stuff work first, and then you can just put it in there each time you need it. All right, let's start by just squishing the aluminum down into the die. You know, nothing about this thing is straight. This is the biggest piece of junk. Let the compression commence. Oh, it's folding like a taco. Mm -hmm. it's aluminum taco. And put these in there. Super professional. Laser cut. And by laser, I mean handsaw. Yeah. Literally handsaw. Laser Done precision. With a hacksaw this morning. We're trying to come up with names for the Talon because every good machine has a name. Trail Taxi just seems... want name to be lame. Yeah, Trail Taxi is a little bit lame. I just want something better. That's 10. Now let's move it to the next mark. Okay. Ten, 10 stroke at first mark. Yep. Which we've hidden your mark with the... Sh the uh, yeah, I'll be aluminum cutting this channel. aluminum as soon as I get it, uh, you know. What degree are we looking for here? Right now, we're just, just making a, we're just making everything to where to work. Oh, okay. Um, so we're just eyeballing and yeah. pre-chabbing. Pre when we get bent around to an angle that looks like it might work, we'll take it over there and see how it looks, and then we'll go from there. Now, this takes way longer than a JD squared would. Way longer. But... Let's do this with the JD squared would cost us an additional $650 <laughs> just to get the bender and the die here. And we're just not spending that kind of money. If we're going to spend that, we'll just buy bumpers. Uh, we probably will spend that kind of money. <laughs> we're just uh, we're just kidding ourselves. Move it another inch. Go again. You can actually feel the pump handle getting softer like it's actually beginning to... You can actually fix these to the rollers if you want, but I want them to be able to roll yeah. with the tubing, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Some people weld them to it. I don't think it's a good idea. Well, they're simply just protecting this pipe from getting huge dimples in it. Let's say forget it. It's the first time we've seen sun in three years. See what that looks like. There is our first bent piece. You just saw everything it took just to make that happen with this super duper high quality professional grade equipment. We're now trimming the shim that was in there. So it's much more manageable and not in the way of the markings now. Quality here. <laughs> That's actually pretty nice quality. Beautiful form fitted die. Now, the whole purpose of this is just to take up the slack in here. Right? Yeah. So. 
you know it's gonna have to be some some bend on this side so well, i guess i'll just turn around this way for the next set of bends and that should be form fit this side down in there what we got here is this i'll mock this thing up see if it looks look all right how pretty that's beautiful so far no kinking I mean, it looks just as good as if you bend it with any other kind of bender. Now, we've got to get this pipe come up to somewhere up in here, right? Uh, yeah. So, we need to work our bends this way, I think. We need to come off of this side with our marks now. The plan down here is to split the pipe. All right. All right, so we've made marks further up the pipe now, and we're going to bend it the other direction a little bit. Yeah. And uh, we'll get a few more degrees here and then we'll take it back over to the machine. So. Yeah. Yeah. We may not need all these marks because it's going to be bending at a pretty good bit by the time we come around. Do we know the correlation of mark in inches to degrees? Oh, heck no. Okay, good. That would be way too... I would say we're getting way too scientific then. Now, once we get... We're just lining up the marks. Yeah, once we get it uh, where it looks close, then we can duplicate it again. Just, I don't, I don't think that'll be too much trouble. Yeah. So he's just lining up the marks with his little notch on the... On the tape. On the tape. Yeah, close counts. For those that are curious. So by now, I've turned, the, turned to another count. So. Yes, if you're still around, thank you. So we just had a visit from uh, one of the neighbors across the street. He said, uh, we're trying to come up with names for the Talon. I'm Talon you. <laughs> <laughs> then it started playing off of talent pretty good talentless i think i'm just gonna do three marks and then take it over there and look at it yeah you can't really unbend it actually kind of feels like we should have had a little straight spot and then another bend up instead of a continuously sweeping bend i ought to check it where it is because we didn't need much more no i'm gonna go one more okay it's All too right. short cut it again cut it again okay let's see what this looks like that's getting pretty darn close right there now. Yeah, it's essentially straight up and down. If your angles to the mount spot yeah. are correct. Yeah, now we can adjust this however we want, you know, because we haven't made anything yet. All right, so the settings are probably wrong on the camera because I'm used to all this light. But we've got our bend. Now we're making our fresh new marks, which, good Lord, I hope you can see that. Whatever. <laughs> got our fresh new marks and we're going to be trying to bend that tube at the front of the machine yes the sun is freaking come out and it's hot now we are essentially we removed the original bumper so we're going to be bolting down here in the well, let's get over here bolting it in right there it's going to come up right up along this and then curve out and come out this way and i'm going to mount a center bar right across here between the same thing on the other side so that's what we're currently trying to figure out is the proper bendage we're starting to bend there we want to really be in the middle of that i guess to begin with right and then uh, <laughs> you got me dude okay Real, realtor's job is never done oh looky there all right so your line is on top we're bending it this way. Yeah, so this is the bottom. It's gonna come up and go that way. So we're trying to bend it. Right. This is the correct bend for the moment. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna move it one inch this way first, and then we'll move it one inch the other way. We're making this up as we go. Imitation fabricator. A lot, like, a lot the same. Looks similar, doesn't taste it all the same. <laughs> I'm afraid of that. We didn't readjust the shim on that one, did we? No, we didn't. That, well, was, that uh, hit my airplane and knocked a hole in it. Yeah, we don't want to take out the uh, hundreds of hours of work that's right there. The projectile. I looked over at it, and just as I looked over at it, that's when it launched. <laughs> Recenter those each time, I guess. And just so we're clear, we don't blame anyone for that. That was our fault. Now, I'm going to say, I'm going to just put it on this side, I think. Yeah, we weren't quite there yet. But we're on the right track, that's for sure. Yeah, we're on the right track. Like that, right? No, okay. you're upright. Was following the vertical on the front of the machine. Oh, yeah, so I didn't get it. Yeah, so we got a long way to go. 
Yeah, and it's not really like I want it. I really want the bend up here more. Well, I it well it will be. Yeah, we're gonna have to do our bends this way. You know, more on this side now. No, no more bending here. Okay. I think it's probably too too late, but we'll see. Please, we can bend it till it breaks if you want. <laughs> let's not <laughs> let's not break it. I mean, we, this is our mock piece. I'm gonna take this shirt off. It's January. It's and January it's, and it's uh, 108 about... degrees. <laughs> Screw you, Georgia. Sorry, this is probably just crazily overexposed. But yeah, it's um. Gonna take off my shirt now. Dun, 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 dun. Getting awfully hot. Dun, 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 dun. So 22 That's up the center line. Bend, though, right? We need more bend, right? Well, I don't know. Well, I mean, we did just add a lot of angle to it. Yeah. Let's do this one more right here, and then we'll go look at it. Okay. And if it's too much, we'll use uh, it as a boomerang. There you go. Better check that, I guess. Yeah, wouldn't hurt. Yeah, we got that one. Got that one. Got that Let's see if we're following it up over uh, yeah we might might give it a look how many pumps was that that was 14 14 pumps on the first that's the first yeah. time we've hit that line what right? we're gonna have to do probably is when we get our our start working on our second piece it's gonna be a lot of trial and error taking out made it up see what it needs yeah we got the identical marks on this pipe too to start with right yeah the, start, the starting marks yeah that was definitely something to remember. Mark both pipes with identical nut lines to start with. That way you have equal representation on both sides. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's close. <laughs> Just a hair more and I think it'll be darn near perfect. Right. We'll see, rotate it. No, you're right, you're right. I think, I think I... Think I like that? No, I think I'm going to go back one mark to this one and put mm -hmm. a couple more strokes there. It doesn't need many. Yeah. You're only off by like a half an inch on the end, so. Okay. Down. See, each stroke you put is adding like yeah. a quarter of an inch. But so that's good bit of spring back, say, when I release it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's forgot about the spring, spring back. back so. Well, I'll go check it. shorten it down at the bottom or lengthen it whatever happens it's going to adjust this up here that's all that's on perfect line with these angles here standing back here looking at it right now we can move it over some to the center of that to get it closer together in the middle so there's still a lot to do here as far as playing with the mouth. how we're going to attach it yeah what, what length because if we put it out here we're stuck out here we can't change that but we can move it over like I said, by doing the split. Matter of fact, we could probably just do the split. And, and slide it on there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just do the split. And we'd have to do, we'd have to do both sides, I think. But that's, that's pretty freaking good. And it's gonna get, it's gonna go in like, well, if we don't cut it off at all, if we just split it, it won't go in any further than about right there. Which is perfect. Because what you have over here, the amount you have coming off of the machine is, hey, it looks so good. It's gonna be nice. Okay. We have decided that even notching it wasn't gonna get it close enough. So now we're gonna hack off a, an angled end. Alright. Let's 
see the final form. Yeah, I gotta cut it deeper. This notch has gotta come way up here, which is gonna require a bigger blade. So. Or roll it over and just like drop it in. Yeah, try that. <laughs> enough well heck now the the top ones it's almost there we got need if we get it to where the top ones flush yeah we'll be pretty good I think yeah the bottom one's hitting yeah so it probably needs to be a little higher like that yeah there we go that's a little better it's not too bad though Chris I like it is it too we're not we're leaned in too much yeah bit. right there We'll notch it. I actually like that distance away from it. Do you? Yeah. Just gives you that much more before it gets into the plastic. Yeah. yeah. We should have cut less. Bar number two is made. We gotta do some uh, trimming. Make it a little bit more even and symmetrical, but there's our two. It came out pretty good. We still gotta shorten them and clean them up and all that. They look good in front of the machine. I'm going to go buy blades for the monster. And now we will proceed with the fine tuning. Oh yeah. Do the Tim Allen grunt. Arr, arr. <laughs> All right, well, should we go clamp them back in the vise or what? Well, it'd probably be a lot easier to cut in the vise. Okay, so here we are. The two pieces cut. We didn't video the making of the second piece because it was the same as the first piece. Just a little bit more of a pain. Using rope that coincidentally matches the machine to hold it in place. Got a few bolts in the original holes at the bottom. Just to keep it in place while we mock up the crossbar that's going to go through right there. And then we got to make the horizontal parts that go inside to hold it up and then we'll be ready for tacking welding and painting what do you think i think it looks pretty darn good for a, bunch of amateur. for a couple of uh imitation fabricators we have resistance okay are you video are you videoing there? Video 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 okay last we saw we had the two fronts done right yeah so now we're making the hoop that goes over the top here it is and if y'all get bored watching this, there's probably some old Andy Griffith reruns or something on TV right now. Yeah. It's probably better. About like right there. Okay. Of course, I can't see anything with this. Right there. That's a precision way of doing it. <laughs> All right. So we've marked our crossbar. I guess that's what they call it. It's a strut bar. It's a, it? it's a strut bar who? Does this need to be swept back or put forward? I actually kind of like forward a little bit. Like, yeah, like right it. there. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, as far as cutting the fish mouth in it goes. Actually, the like, way you're holding it is just about perfect. Yeah. I think that's going to be pretty cool though. That's great. I'm not sure about 
Oh, that's that's something that would just even like where you're holding right there looks really good from yeah. the side too. Yeah. The mock-up. So nothing is actually welded yet. Nothing is tacked. This is just sort of strapped in place. Still got to do a crossbar in here to hold the fair lead and then give it a little more oomph. But that's pretty much it. It's time to weld it and mount it. These little plastic pieces are interfering. They mount to the stock bumper, and we're getting rid of them because they're on the way. So now we should be able to flop that around on there, sit nice and smoothly. And whenever we mount the horizontals in there, we'll reuse the existing holes that they used into the tube we cut for the horizontal piece on both sides, and then we can still use this right here. We can still tap a hole in this and use that. Contemplating man. So we foobarred and forgot to bend for our horizontals first. I don't want my head sticking over that edge. And we stuck this little shorty piece in here. It's only 11 inches long. Yeah, and we don't want it to go flying through the air. And so. we're trying to bend it in this, the all wrong place. No, I can't see anything. Sorry. It's all right. Well, I'd rather, I'd yeah, rather, rather not see anything. How about do this? Maybe projection. we can see it this way. Yeah, just do it real easy to press. <laughs> I said we did anything. I could just crush the end. <laughs> I don't even know if I was videoing anything just then. <laughs> How much bend does it need? Not much. Just a, a half inch of break. Probably more than that, though, and it needs it more towards the end. Let's check it out. Yeah, it was too long to begin with, so... Yeah, I'm going to have to cut it to get it to go in there. And then, uh... You have to go ahead and cut your cope and hope that it fits. I think it's bent wrong. Which way is your no, that's, angle? That should be right. Yeah, that's correct. I just need to cut off like. Let's go ahead and do your cut. Three eighths of an inch. Watch your fingers. Yeah. Ugh.